Hello party people. I am pumped today because finally, after weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks of talking about it, I am running to the thrift store. Alex has the kids, so let's spend our time wisely and hopefully we find some really good gems. Before I go to the thrift store, I always like to look through Pinterest. Well, let's be real. I've been looking through Pinterest for like months by now, uh, but just to get like some inspiration like fashion inspiration oh another tip i have black on black i'm so emu emu <laughs> how do you say that i'm so emo oh it's been a long time guys my second tip if you're going thrifting and oh my gosh you know what i don't think i'll be able to try anything on nowadays oh well black always looks good it's slimming if nothing else anyway i wear black pants because regardless of what shirt i pick out and try on It'll look decent and then same neutral color top with whatever shorts, skirts, bottoms I try on and it's loose fitting, I can tuck it in, whatever, plus comfy, you know what I mean? That's what we're going for nowadays, so I'm gonna throw some shoes on. Do you wanna see my Pinterest board inspiration or should we just go? Err, uh, let's just go. I'm hoping to find some cardigans. Please let me find a cardigan for like two bucks. I'll spend five actually. I'll spend five dollars on a cardigan. Oh, oh, today is not half off day, which is when I normally go, but I feel like it would be busier on those days where they have, uh, I'm going to Salvation Army. Oh, and I might also go to another thrift store. I forgot the name of it. I should probably look that up. But it's like Plato's Closet, but apparently Plato's Closet is for like young adults. And this consignment store that people are telling me about is for O o older adults? <laughs> adults? Actual adults? I don't know. Am I an adult? Well, let's just go thrift store shopping. So let's see what we can find. It's always an adventure. You never know what you're gonna find when you go thrift store shopping. Isn't that right? Shoes? Sunglasses? Oh no! Alex has my purse! Mother of purse! Oh man, my kitchen's a mess. Okay, I got my purse. From Alex, we made it to Salvation Army. I looked up the other place, it's called Clothes Mentor. And since I'm feeling overzealous, I don't know how much time we're gonna have today, but I would like to go to Goodwill as well. So Salvation Goodwill Clothes Mentor, is that what it's called? Mentor, seems so official. Anyway, those are the top three. Let's head inside to Salvation Army. Can you even see it? No, great. Oh, you know what else I would like to find? Maybe um, Christmas sweaters. Thanks, you have any sweaters? <laughs> Someone's next to me. <laughs> Let's go. So we're on the hunt for some green tags. It is actually popping today at the Salvation Army. They always have a ton of, ooh, look at this canopy bed right there. They always have a ton of furniture. This looks very 90s, I like. Will you look at this sectional sofa? Yes, that price. It is $400, that's it. Amazing. Wait a minute, here's a matching one. You guys, we got a match. Does that mean we have to buy them? I don't have space. Yeah, is that price? Ooh, 300. It's usually feast or famine here with the frames, uh, but if you're looking for like discounted frames, it's always a great place to look. $22 for this nice matted frame. Even if you don't like the artwork, switch it out. Ooh, playroom rules. That's fun, only seven bucks. At Hobby Lobby, that thing would be like 70. Ooh, nice little office. Instead of having a globe, we have a map. That's beautiful. Ooh, a little pricey, $80, but it's beautiful and large. Got some more lovely artwork over here. Very aesthetic, very nice. This one reminds me of Italy, like a canal in Venice or something. Is that water on the bottom? I can't really tell. Moving on, lots of smaller frames over here. I see this one looks very nice. It would fill up a large space. Oh my, it's only $14. I'm about two seconds away from buying this. I've always wanted a grandfather clock. We don't have space for it in our current house. Guys, that's only 23 bucks. <laughs> I might get it, I'm not even kidding. Stop it, it's an actual clock, it's not just a picture. Oh, that makes it worth it, come on. Back when I was looking for a hutch to DIY, I searched all of my thrift stores. This guy is $50. Are you kidding me? It's an amazing price. They've got a nice little wall of blenders, microwaves. Ooh, all those toasters on top, sweet. I see a lot of Keurigs right there. Is that the new George Foreman? I actually don't see any George Foremans. That's surprising. Ooh, a dehydrator right there too. Crock pots. Wait, is this a popcorn maker? What is this? I have forever wanted a chase lounger like this. I think my dreams are coming true today, guys. I'm just kidding, I'm not gonna get this one. Look at this bookshelf, so unique. 99 
$15. And they have two matching twin headboards and footboards or whatever those are. $150 for each one. No mattress though, no mattress. They always have a lot of nice dishware too. Oh, look at this. Those little soup bowls and that pitcher down there. Oh, you could decorate so well with that. Except for I don't know how to do any of that. This bowl is really nice. Ooh. Oh my gosh, look at this baby little gravy bowl. Three bucks. This guy is so cute for six dollars. But ooh, those dishes down there. I have to share with you. An employee got me a cart because they saw me walking around with all of these things, just holding it all. Probably look like a crazy person, but yeah, I'm used to it. There's a lot of beautiful pieces here and they're all color coded and all fantastic price. Oh my gosh, is this Polish pottery? It's fake Polish pottery, but beautiful nonetheless. I am at the skirt section right now because I am recently obsessed. Look at this. It's so beachy. I feel like this one is pretty trendy these days. It's like the corduroy material. It's got pockets high and it's brand new with tags and it's only Box. Love it. Safe by the bell vibes for sure. Is this a skirt though or a tube top? Maybe I can turn it into a pillowcase. Is it a pillowcase? <laughs> this one's beautiful as well. I'm really thinking about buying these. It's like that really light. Oh, oh, I thought that was a hole or something. Wait, is it a pocket? It's nothing. It's nothing. Anyway, I just have really bad memories of, you know, bell bottoms from my school age days. What do we think? Yes, no, yeah. <laughs> they always have a fantastic selection of shoes. Look at all those heels. Can I get married again just so I can wear a different dress? Look how beautiful that is. Eight dollars? Oh, I guess this is not a wedding dress. Oh, and it has some pulls. What a shame. I did see a wedding dress. Oh, here it is. Or a prom dress. Beautiful. It's only 50 bucks. I think we've made it to the cardigans and actually, oh my gosh, wait, this is a vest. Oh, even cooler. I won't sweat in it. I probably still will sweat in it. Out of the corner of my eye, I see this. Oh, not a cardigan, but beautiful. Not my size either. Oh, man. I know what you're wondering. Kim, how many great cardigans can you possibly own? Uh, a lot. First of all, that beading, love it. Second of all, Express and its quarter length sleeve, three quarters length. It's only $7, but I examined it. That's why you have to do this when you go thrifting. Some bleach stains, sad, sad, sad. I am forever on the hunt for like a top or a dress romper in this print. It just reminds me of Pretty Woman. And that's basically what I strive to look like in my life. Julie Roberts and Pretty Woman, come on. The only thing I don't love about thrift stores is that if you find a piece that you absolutely adore and it's not in your size, you're just out of luck. I don't know if you can see this brand, but it's the Calia by Carrie Underwood. Oh, what? Guys, $4 for this? I would totally buy it, but it's not my size. <laughs> yes, 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 I love when I find like business shirts at the thrift store. A bonus if it says their name on it. <laughs> Tell me I'm not crazy for loving this. Love the colors. It's a romper, but it's pants. Oh, it's two sizes too big, but I think I might get it anyway. Eight bucks, oh my gosh. Peek on the brand. That's the brand if you want to Google it. But for real, look at that dress up there. That is so cute. Oh, they're highlighting all of the nice ones, but how do we get them down? I used my flippy hand skills to get it down. Look how beautiful that dress is. Screams full, screams beauty, screams butterfly sleeves. Uh, it's an XL, sadly not my size, but part of me just still wants to take it home. $8, there's the brand. Like, come on, how stinking cute would this be? I actually, I wouldn't mind it if it was large. It's the high neck that's getting me. It's gonna make me so hot. <laughs> I'm actually really into this one too. I don't know guys, my style might be stuck in the 90s and also like kindergarten, but I'm digging it. I'm digging it so hard. Five bucks. This is totally giving me like Fresh Prince of Bel-Air vibes. Do you guys know they're revamping that? Oh, I cannot wait. I'm actually really obsessed with this one as well and really sad to leave it behind. So I just want to take extra video of it so I can remember how cute it is. Well, guess what? Surprise, the dress dressing rooms are open. Don't know if I'm gonna go in one, because that would just take too much time, but all of these purses, I don't need a purse, but 
feel like I want one. <laughs> Look at this, another beautiful wedding gown. Oh my gosh, and this purse? How did I overlook this gem? 13 bucks for that. Oh my gosh, look at this cute little thing. You guys already know. I'm obsessed. Oh my gosh, and then the metallic one in the background. Or Halo. Halo, what is this called? It's called like, oh, holographic. Holo. Holo. I would much rather wear that one though. I actually might buy it. Talk me out of it, please. Oh my gosh, it's only $8. I wonder what it smells like. Okay, I lied. We're going in. I don't know if I'm gonna try everything on, but look at this gem. Someone left this behind. I'm just gonna try a few things on and get it out of my system. I know I have pants on, but you guys, it has pockets. Pockets, pockets. Um, no joke, this might come home with me and it might be my favorite purchase of the day. I'm actually really glad that I tried this on. I'm living like my best hippie life right now. These sleeves, oh, I'm not even showing you the sleeves. Are you kidding me? Just call me a wild child right now, flower child, whatever you want. Apparently my size is an extra large because this totally fits me. Would I wear this on an average day? Probably not because I can't nurse in it, but it is beautiful. Well, I guess I'm gonna try some clothes on. Get ready for a fashion show, my friends. I love this, but I don't think I would ever wear it. So let's just document the fact that I get to wear it right now. <laughs> Does anyone ever get jeans from the thrift store? I know you can dig through them and they have so many like good brands. There's literally rows and rows of jeans. I just don't have the patience for this. Okay, that was exhausting. I've lost track of all time and space. Let's get out of here. Uh, hi. Hi. I'm pretty sure Tampa drivers are the worst drivers. If I just told you what I witnessed, you'd be like, uh, Kim, you lying. And I'd be like, no dog. That's the cold hard truth. Don't move to Tampa. <laughs> anyway, we are headed to a little north. I think it's a little nicer part of town. Oh, and we're going to Goodwill. So we're gonna compare Salvation Army, Goodwill. Which one's better? It'll be hard to tell because we're going to, like, like I said, a nicer part of town. I should have gone to the Salvation and Goodwill in this in that region but you know I did so we'll see what they have at Goodwill let's go why is everyone going a million miles an hour I'm not driving slow people people are zooming past me like a bat out of hell <laughs> my mom says that all the time like a bat out of hell I love that 
Uh, the parking lot is packed. So I'm thinking like maybe this is a fantastic place. I think I've been here once before as well. So from what I remember, the prices are more expensive, but they had a lot more like knickknack stuff. Oh my gosh, have you seen the meme where it's like talking about our ears, holding everything, our sunglasses, earbuds, earrings, and then the mask. And it's like the ear asking, can I hold anything else for you? <laughs> it reminds me of being a mom. Look at this, they have a drive up donation center. Um, hi Goodwill, I did not see a stitch of Halloween stuff at the last Salvation Army. Oh my God, are you kidding me? I'm sorry, where am I, Home Goods? Bing Lots? This is amazing. Oh my gosh, witches brooms over here. Stop it, there's so much more guys. Oh, did you know that Goodwill looked like this on the inside? <laughs> because I wasn't aware they have candles. What? 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 Oh my gosh, I might buy that little gargoyle. Ooh, $17, goodwill, come on now. They have try me stuff? Where am I, for real, what the hell? $13 for this and it doesn't work. Oh my gosh, look at this little guy. Oh my honey, hi. Gosh, I love her so much, <laughs> the rats. Guys. Are you seeing what I... Do you see what I see? Not Christmas stuff yet. Oh my gosh, and then down here. Hold up, they even have saw. I don't know where I am. I don't know. Oh, cardigans. Now I know where I am. Welcome home. Oh, they have underwear in the package. This is beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love that they organize by size. Why do I bother with Salvation Army? It's $4.50. This cute little sweater, $4.50. Um, uh, okay, I don't know what to say. I'm speechless. Look at this beautiful little sweater, $4.50. You guys, I cannot get over all of the stuff that they have. Pants all organized. Oh gosh, I'm going the wrong way. Skirts down here, a little mermaid action. I am fully regretting going to Salvation Army first. Ooh, you guys, I might get lost in this store. Look how beautiful this is, $10. Oh my gosh, I love that. Fashion, fashion, fashion. Oh my gosh, fashion. Technically that's my size. Guys, can you tell what color this is? It's like the fashionable color. <laughs> okay, Goodwill, I see you. They have a bunch of bath stuff, shower curtains and hooks, bath mats. Oh, ooh. look at this, kitchen stuff, kitchen mittens. Kitchen towels. Oh, baby blankets. Oh my gosh. You guys. Wait, is this a bath mat? $4 for a bath mat? I am beside myself. Did you guys know it was like this? And why didn't you tell me? Okay, a bath mat. I think it's never been used. It still has a stinking tag on it. Nine bucks. Well, that's actually not that great. <laughs> Get this, I'm not in my size, but you guys, Knox Rose brand. It's got that bell sleeve that we've been on the hunt for, for just $4.50. They have all of these shorts. Oh my gosh, that blush tone right there. I see some red, ooh, mustard. I don't know why I'm obsessed with mustard. I think that color looks miserable on me, but here's a romper. Ooh, lemon romper, very, oh my gosh, love this one. Let's just peek on the stinking shoe section. It puts Salvation Army to absolute shame. Where are the sizes? I don't know. I bet you they're organized by size though. Are you seeing these? Are those Uggs? I bet they're Uggs for $4.50. Okay, I found it for real this time. My wedding dress, if I were to have another wedding. Oh, by the way, the same man, same husband. <laughs> Isn't that gorgeous? Yes, please. And they have another one behind it. Oh. Wait, is that a flower girl dress? Sure is, I'd wear it, I don't care. So many purses as well. Guys, I'm at, oh, Vera Bradley laptop bag, do you see that? Yes, that price, we have to see, we have to peek. Just $19.97. I am having the time of my life here. Uh, first of all, it, the lights are bright. Second of all, the AC is pumping. Third of all, do you see all these Halloween costumes? Oh my gosh, look at that hat with the buttons. Can I be something with hat and buttons? Okay, I cannot get over this. It is like a legit store, not a thrift store. Hold on, I don't know if you can capture everything that's happening here. Do you see it all? What, do you see this? 
Oh my gosh, they even have Halloween mats down here. Um, how much are they? We have to guess that price. Seven dollars. Uh, they have a muscle plate. Yes, please. Need that in my life. All kinds of hats for you. Literally a ton of costumes and so many like Halloween accessories as well. All right, I, I already somehow have a handful of clothes, which was not my intention. So let's make our way to home department. I'm sorry, did we see this guy? Oh, $30, not worth it, but he is pretty cool just to look at. Oh my gosh, and then this skeleton stuck in there. What, like how is this $4? This is $4, but the pumpkin is 30. Come on, Goodwill. Cinderella style, I shoved my foot in this shoe. I would ache to wear these shoes. They're like a size too small. I couldn't see the size, so I had to try it on. Gorgeous, how much is this thing? I don't know. Oh my, $10. And then these, $5. Oh my gosh, look at these. How much are these, five bucks? Gorgeous. They also have a few bins of like, uh, apparently Halloween stuff. I don't know, is this, I, oh, maybe this is the donated Halloween stuff. I don't know why they would separate it. Look, we got a little uh, Frankenstein back here. Literally feel like I'm at a store right now. I mean, they have all of this. All of this is happening. And uh, not to mention this. They have more. Down here, they have more beach stuff. Humongous frames. Huge. All right, let's check the price on one of these just to compare to Salvation Army. Oh, $20 for that massive concoction. Enormous. Oh, a peacock. I see a peacock. Bing -bong. Cube storage is here. I don't see a price. I'll just scan over some of the random stuff that they have lying around here. It's like a garage sale. Look at that baby chair. They've got rugs over here. Some strollers it's on the back wall. Anything interesting? All right, cool, 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 cool. They have a lot of chairs. Part of me just wants to buy this. Guys, this is in like an Ikea chair. Um, they're trying to sell it here for $8. Of course, it needs a little paint job, a little TLC. But new at Ikea, this thing is crazy expensive. Oh, and look at this little timeout chair. <laughs> this is so cute. How much is this chair? Oh, $5. Are you kidding me? You can't even get a pair of shoes here. for Well, actually, you can. You can get a pair of shoes. I want to take that home. I don't know why. Oh, and then they have a little one over here. I've completely abandoned my cart at this point. Okay, this chair is $5 as well. Or 450. Oh my gosh! They have pocket umbrellas here. They have lamp shades. They have pillows. They have home decor. Look at here. Oh my! I am truly amazed right now. Like truly, truly amazed. Look at all this stuff. Do you see it? Where am I? Hobby Lobby. So many beautiful reasons to be happy. Yeah, because I'm at Goodwill. I like that one. Oh my gosh, I've got DVDs. Not only do they have DVDs, they have VHSs, guys. Little Giant, yes please. Oh, all the classics are here. Oh, and then more up there. I'm truly shocked and somewhat overwhelmed. I don't know what to get. Wait, <laughs> they have aisles and aisles. Car helmets, car, I mean bicycle helmets. Uh, I don't know what else is here. Napkins, <laughs> that's nice. Outdoor mats. $12 for this huge base. Okay, we're back inside to this part of the store. Ooh, I see cutting boards. I also see Tupperware. Oh my gosh, Sistema containers? Somebody, somebody help me. $8 for a 15 piece set. Are you kidding me? Right now? Oh my gosh, I need to come here more often. Look at these jars, four of them for $9. They have some more jars. Ooh, people are banging on that Halloween stuff. I truly feel like I'm at like a normal store and not a Goodwill right now. All right, let's venture on down here. Got a lot of baskets. Ooh, some spider web, a pan. All right, do we see anything worthy? Yes, we do. Yes, we do right there. Actually, that white basket's really nice. Okay, I see some Christmas stuff already. Oh, loving those snowmen, yes. Oh, wait, 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 what is that? Oh, just a stocking, okay, okay. Actually, this umbrella for two bucks, like that's a really good deal. All right, what else do we see? We see a scarecrow up here, some more baskets. Okay, over here, we've got some jars. We have some Ziploc bags and such. 
some cactus. Uh, okay, nothing interesting. Okay, I need some cutesy things for the kitchen. Look at this vase though. Seven dollars for this is really nice. Okay, do we see, oh, just ran into a wall. Do we see anything else that we find interesting? Oh my gosh, a little witch. Look how happy she is, feeding you poison. Oh my gosh, and she plugs in somewhere. What does she do? All right. Oh my gosh, more Systema containers. Hold up. Ooh, these are only $3 for three Systema containers. Come on. Amazing, amazing. Look at those Halloween bowls up there. Oh my gosh, look at these. How much do you think they are? Three bucks. Oh my gosh. I'm beside myself right now. I just, I'm not putting anything in my cart because I, I don't know. I feel like I'm in a dream. I feel like I'm living in like a virtual reality. Like this is not real. It couldn't be real. Couldn't be. Okay, what else do we have here? Anything? Anything interesting? All right, let's just keep rolling. My my camera's about to die, actually. Oh, look at that guy. He looks so happy. Oh my gosh, a little pump. What does he do? We don't know. He's probably a tart warmer. Ooh, GFG. Uh, there he is. Seven, eight, nine dollars. Nine dollars for that. All right. George Foreman, still making that money. Okay, some more stuff. Oh my gosh, they sell tissues. Oh my god. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. Avalon down here, they have a ton of mugs. I'm looking for a vase, but like a large floor vase. I don't think it's going to be here. All of these knickknacks, though. Oh, I might be here for hours, but I can't be. See that turkey? I can't be here for hours. Probably only 15 more minutes. Oh, this Santa Claus. Welcome to Florida. Yes. Even more up here, you guys. Oh my heavens. All these picture frames. So many picture frames. So many. What? I wish I had more time to spend here so I could like really dig in. Do you see anything that you would buy? I, I do. <laughs> I do. Oh, you guys. What am I gonna do? Why didn't you tell me to come to Goodwill first? I feel like a goon for not following the rules. I didn't know. I didn't know. How was I supposed to know? Just so many gems here, you guys. So many gems. So little time is all I'm saying. I bet you that seems something magical. Like, look at this set. I don't know what it's supposed to be, but it looks fun. Oh my gosh, Santa Claus. Okay, and then, ooh, cats. They do what they want, where they want, when they want. Get over it, eight. I'm looking at the cardigans. Uh, definitely stuck in the 90s, because I love this Zach Morris vibes right here. Um, and then I found this. Look at how beautiful that is. But remember that one time I was at Salvation Army and I found a Halloween like ugly sweater and I didn't buy it. It was the worst decision I've ever made in my entire life. Now I understand why the parking lot is so full here. So I got this lady and she didn't have a price tag. Where am I gonna plug her in at? What kind of plug is that? <laughs> All right, I guess we'll head home and I'll share with you everything that I got because I did get some stuff. Okay, my house is a mess. I could have stayed home and cleaned, but instead I went thrift store shopping. Can you blame me? First item I'm gonna show you is this lovely masterpiece. Would you believe it if I told you, you probably will, that this is fabric. Look, someone just stitched it right up there and I feel like if I ever wanted to take it out, ooh, how is it in here? Huh. How did they put it in here? Well, I'm sure I could figure it out, but will I? No, I'll never replace it. It's just for fun. I'm gonna put it in my bedroom where there's a big empty space. Perfect. Come on, let me show you. There it is. I had a big empty wall healer. I did, can I speak? I did have a shelf there. And my dream is to just have a mirror right there. But for now, for $14, I think it was, that'll do, pig. Okay. So I definitely did some damage. I'll show you the fun stuff first. Well, it's all fun, really, if I'm being honest. So I got this pitcher. I don't even know what brand it is. Oh, it's chipped on the bottom a little bit. I wasn't going to get it, but then I got pressured because an employee walked by and I looked at like five items that had no price on it. And I said, oh, these items don't have a price. And she started spewing off prices. Oh, do you want them? And then I was like, I guess I want them. So $3 for this pitcher. I'm sure we'll find a really beautiful spot for it somewhere. I got this thermos. It was only $2 and all of our thermoses ha are like girly, really girly, super pink, unicorn, all that kind of stuff. And whenever, I wonder what was in there. This 
smells like pancakes. Anyway, whenever I send Wentworth to school with like something hot in his lunchbox, you know, he's got like uniform, he's never complained, he doesn't care. But I, th I saw this and I thought, well, why not get him something neutral? Oh, and then this bowl, another item that did not have a price tag. She said, do you want it? And I was like, I don't know. <laughs> it was $6. I don't know if you can really pick up just how like beautiful and rustic this is. And I saw it and I thought, well, it looks pretty nice. I mean, do I need a bowl? No. Was I in the market for some? Sure, why not? But what got me is the brand. What is the brand? Hearth and Hand by Target by none other than the famous Joanna Gaines. You guys know how much I love her. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. Maybe put a succulent in it, I don't know. I don't know. But I thought, well, that's a good deal. I bet you at Target that thing was like $29.99. And then I saw a set of these, which also did not have a price tag on them. A little scalloped edge right there. It's an eight by eight pan. And I am in the market for one of these because all my eight by eight pans uh, broke. So I said, oh, this doesn't have a price tag. The other one had a price tag. Apparently it was a set of two, but the other one had a big chip in it. And uh, yeah, so I just got one, five bucks. All right. And then you guys know I got this Sistema deal. How much was this piece of crap? $7.99 for everything that you see right there is just like such a good deal. And I use those containers all the time for the kiddos. I got Alex some shirts. I'll share those with you in just a second. But first, we got this friendly little witch. Who's gonna be a good little witch? I'm excited to know what she does. Find out what she does. Alex is really good about wires and plugs and stuff, so I'm gonna ask him what the heck to do. Oh, and then I got another bag from Goodwill. What did I get, actually, from Goodwill? Why'd they tie it up? Oh, I got Alex a lot of clothes. Uh, just a bunch of shirts. And then I know you're just dying to know which uh, items of clothing that I picked out from Salvation Army. Oh my gosh. I thought I put this one back. <laughs> it's beautiful. And part of me is thinking, well, I'm kind of glad I didn't put it back. But a part of me is like, Kim, you're never going to wear this. You guys are going to watch my closet clean out video a year from now. And I'm going to be decluttering this. I just thought I put it back. Why did you buy this, Kim? $5. Maybe that's why I was like, $5? You know what, now I have to wear it. I have to wear it, I'll wear it tomorrow. The lies that we tell ourselves, right? <laughs> I'm gonna wear this tomorrow. It's so cute, $5, I'm gonna wear it. And then I got this number, this was $5 as well, and I just thought it was super casual, wear it with some leggings. Uh, it's a size extra large, which I don't know. I really like when clothing is like loose fitting and stuff, and I really enjoyed the print. I'm not really one to wear a bunch of collared things because like that's where you, if you're cold, that's where you wanna trap the heat, and that's the opposite of what I like to do, but eh, I got it nonetheless. This was $7, also a large, which goes to tell you, don't just look at the sizing because typically I'm not a large or extra large, but that's what I got and it fits me and it looks decent. I just thought this was so adorable. I love the floral. It's like easy access to nursing. Wait, is there a button here? Nah, but I'm sure it'll be fine. And it's long sleeve, so I know I'm not gonna wear this like all the time, but you know, on the occasion. Oh my gosh, you're never gonna guess what I found. Literally never gonna guess what I found. Okay, so I have this beach cover-up that I got from Target on clearance years and years ago, like three, four years, I don't know, many years ago, I wear it as a beach cover-up. I also wear it to Costco. I wear it to a grocery store. I wear it around the house. It's just a little, I don't even know what to call it. It's not a cardigan, a little shawl action. You guys, I saw this in my size. $5, I was like, I would spend $55 on that because I wear mine so often and I literally think about the day that it's starting to get holes in it. I think, I'm gonna have to learn how to sew because I love this thing so much. Good thing I don't have to learn how to sew because I found a second one and I am so stinking happy about it. Now my life can go on. I also found this, which, uh, first of all, love the color of this. Are you kidding me? Like, does this scream fall or what? I actually had a shirt like this, uh, $4. This is from Forever 21, and I had a shirt like this in blue. It was like light blue, and I got an oil stain on it. I still wore it. I didn't care, you guys know about me. It had the zipper in the back and everything. I wore the snot out of that until I thought, Kim, you are worth more than stained clothing, you know what I mean? So I finally got rid of it a while ago in one of my closet cleanouts, and I'm lucky, I'm glad I found this because the color is just gorgeous. And plus there's no oil stain on this. 
Okay, $7, a little steep. This is a petite large. Again, with the sizing, just don't even focus on that anymore. The little detail on the sleeves, I'm just loving this. So the sleeves are, are kind of breathable, you see, but the shirt is not, like the shirt is uh, not see-through. So I really enjoyed this. So I got it. And then this is just a little t-shirt and you know what, $7 is a little steep for this. It is loft, so it's a nice material, it's a nice brand and it will last, it's like quality, but $7 for a t-shirt, not the best deal, but eh, I got it. I thought it was cute. Oh, okay, $3 for this one. I don't know how they do their pricing. So this one has a little detail on the sleeve, it's got a little uh, pattern action on it, a little high-low, and I, I just got it. Nice little comfortable, t-shirt lounge around that's pretty much my style comfortable casual this one was five dollars and i don't know why i'm so into the bell sleeve but i found a lot of bell sleeve options you know what else i saw a lot of uh like the cold shoulder stuff and i can't remember i saw something else that was like super trendy not too long ago and it was like all over the place i forgot what it was but this one was really cute and yeah 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 and then Goodwill, oh wait, oh my gosh, I didn't think I bought this one. I thought I put it back. <laughs> I'll probably never wear it. Again, it's Loft, I love that brand, and it was only $7 again for a t-shirt. It's just like, oh, you know why I, why I bought it? <laughs> you know why I talked myself into it? I thought, Kim, you need to have something that makes you look like an adult for like teacher conferences, parent-teacher conferences, or like if you have to do anything that requires you to look like an adult. <laughs> So in my eyes, this will make me look like an adult. Is it working? <laughs> I'm also gonna have to wear something under it because it's kind of see-through. Okay, oh my gosh. I'm glad that I got this. I actually had some stuff to try on at Goodwill. Their, clothes, their uh, dressing rooms were so dark, the opposite of their store. So I didn't film at all in there. It was really dark. But this is the only item that I got for myself. It was $5. This little skirt. Hello, hello. And you know, I actually kind of feel like an influencer in it. Don't I look like one? I just, I really like the buttons and the color reminded me of fall and I was like <laughs> On to the clothing I got my husband. A blue shirt, a black shirt, a maroon shirt, periwinkle shirt, a striped shirt, a Reebok shirt, and a shirt from Old Navy. Oh my gosh, which one was $9.99? Okay, first of all, let's go over the prices. $3 for this one, $5 for this one, $3 for this one, $5 for the, so the $5 ones are like the, I don't know how else to explain it, other than like golfing material or like that workout, one. I don't know what it is. What is it? I don't know. It's like a, a yeah, like a nicer material. So $5 for this shirt, screaming deal. I'm still trying to figure out which one was 10 bucks. Five, five, oh no, 448. Oh, I guess this one was 10. Well, that was an oversight. Dry tech, dry tech, that's the moisture wicking comfortable breathable why do they make this stuff for men and not women i want some shirts that are what was it again dry tech i sweat i sweat all day can i have some dry tech <laughs> i actually think i have some workout gear that is dry tech anyway he really enjoys those so i'm glad that i got them even ten dollars for that that's not a deal that's a steal but i like to say all right that is it Holy crap, we've made it to the end. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out if you stayed this long. Wowza. So, uh, unfortunately, we did not get to go to modern fashion. What was it called? Mentor, mentor fashion, something like that. Maybe in the future we will go there. Maybe we won't. It's just on the other side of town and I just didn't get to go there. I was on the side of town where like Hobby Lobby was and a part of me was like, Kim, go to Hobby Lobby. But I refrained and I did, I did not go to Hobby Lobby. Uh, anyway, I came home. I gotta eat. I'm hungry. I didn't bring any snacks with me. So that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching and thrifting with me. I hope you enjoyed your time. I hope I gave you like a little virtual field trip. I hope uh, I spent money so you don't have to. Actually, let me tell, oh my gosh, last thing. Just kidding, hold on. Okay, the amount of money that I spent on this one cardigan because you guys, I didn't even get a cardigan. I did not get one single cardigan from Goodwill or so, oh, well I guess if you consider this a cardigan, but I don't, I don't. Anyway, my old navy package came in. Most of the stuff I got is boring. Leggings and socks and stuff, but look at this little dress I got for Meredith. Oh my gosh, $7? spent seven dollars on that I'm super cute i did order a cardigan from old navy i gotta tell you i'm not into the fabric it's like that ugh, fabric 
You guys know what I'm talking about. Anyway, so the amount, oh, it's not even full sleeve. What did I order? I must have just been clicking. I want a cardigan is what I was shopping doing. All right, so it's not so bad. It's not so bad. How does it look? It's got pockets. We like a good pocket. How comfortable do I look? Not as comfortable as my green one. Do we like the color? I don't know. Anyway, how much was this piece of crap? What I was trying to say is the amount of, it doesn't even have a tag. Oh my god! The amount of money I spent on this is the same amount of money I spent on, well, probably half of this. Unreal. But I did use the drop app and I did get uh, points and uh, they were having a Labor Day sale. So I don't think I spent what the tag says. How do we feel about this? I don't know. It is breathable. I just don't know. Oh, you know what got me was because it was said it was um, on like high demand or like a high requested item. What's with these sleeves? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out. I, yeah, I, this might be going back. It does not look as cute on me as it did on the model on Old Navy's website. <laughs> okay, I gotta eat something. Thank you guys so much for watching for the hundredth time. Thanks for hanging out with me. Hope you enjoyed your time. If you want to subscribe, put a little happy in your day and I'll see you next time. I'm so, I'm so parched I can't even get to the high notes. I can't get there, I can't get it. It's a high one.